Green Gables never change. Indeed, you will stay in our high school memories forever. There have been great moments and some more difficult ones. But I guess this is part of the journey. We've made new friends, discovered ourselves a bit more. For some, it is the beginning of a passion. For others, it's one step ahead towards finding our goal in life. But if there's one thing we should all remember, yes, one thing, it has been a heck of a ride. It all started in October. We got our roles and we discovered our lines. We had to learn them over and over and over again. Eventually they caught on. Eventually. Well, when they took our binders, I guess we didn't really have a choice. Time passed, rehearsal after rehearsal. Some learned how to sing, others to dance. All in front of the observing eye of Christian. We got our costumes and the props were built. At the same time, Mrs. Curran and Mrs. Mitchell were keeping us on track. Mrs. Christensen checked that our singing was okay. Mrs. Harmon worked hard with the orchestra. And Mr. Dalton made sure that the crew knew exactly what they had to do. Suddenly, we were only two weeks before the show. No, one week. Some were nervous, especially the crew. The amount of notes was daunting. Everything had to be perfect. We stayed longer and longer in school, despite the fact that homework was getting an issue. But between all the rehearsals, the notes, and sometimes stress, we had the chance to set up a few dances. Opening day, everyone was ready. The crew was already in position, with donut holes for six. Could we start? No, the cast is still getting ready. As we say, break away. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Eggplant Theatre. The show is about to begin, and we would ask that you turn off all cellular and electronic devices as they can interfere with our sound system and are distracting to the actors on stage. orchestra and production staff of Anne of Green Gables. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of you 
for putting in such a lot of commitment and time for the last number of weeks and months, depending on what your task was, to make Anne of Green Gables possible. It was a little bit challenging in places, but that which doesn't kill you outright proves to make you stronger. So I think uh, we've all come through this uh, with flying colors, so to speak, and it has been my pleasure and a bit of a challenge sometimes to work through this, but know that it was a great show and we will now join the annals of CCH history. And I wish you all well in the future and hope that we see you as alumni um, if you're at grade 12 and that you're back for auditions again next year if you're in grade 10 or 11. Thank you. Feel mighty, mighty, oh so high and mighty,